Good morning, everyone. I'm Sunida from Climate Outreach. Um, today, in this short video, we'll be having a chat about our newly released Global Stop Take report. Um, I have Gurpreet here with me, who is the author of the report. So we'll get right into it. Gurpreet, let us know what is the Global Stop Take. Hi, Famida. Uh, good to be doing this video. So the Global Stop Take is exactly what it sounds. It's a stop take. Uh, it's an inventory on taking stock of what countries have done in the past, what they're doing now, and what they can do in the future to um, stop everyone from reaching the 1.5 um, degrees, you know, um, temperature, you know, goal that, that, that we have. In a nutshell, that's all it is. It's taking inventory, taking stock. Cool. Thank you. Um, and how does the global stock take relate to public engagement? So um, we need public engagement in the global stock take process and as a mechanism in itself, because one of the things that is coming out now is that a lot of um, it, it's it's quite clear that, you know, a lot of the 1.5 degree goal is not being met. So the global stock take now is seen, being seen as a course correcting mechanism as something that can lay out the course for the future. And how can we actually put an ambition in, in the global stock take? To put an ambition, uh, people are needed. We need people at the center of the process. And for that, we need public engagement, effective public engagement strategies to ensure that the global stock take lives up to his ambition raising um, potential. Amazing, thank you. And could you let us know some key recommendations from your report? Yes, so um, I'll just pick on a couple. One is that uh, the global stock take has been recognized uh, to leave no one behind and to look at the best available science. Alongside that, we need to recognize that social science and you know other mechanisms are important as well to make it as fair, inclusive, just as possible. So um, public engagement needs to run throughout all of this process. The second one is we need to uh, tap on to the ACE framework, which is Article 12, known as uh, Action for Climate Empowerment. So we technically don't need to reinvent the wheel for public engagement. We already have something that is in the Paris Agreement that we can use as a framework for uh, public engagement to take place. And the third one is um, governments need to not only show political will, but they need to put aside a dedicated source of funding so that public engagement strategies can be carried out on national and international levels. This also includes UNFCCC putting aside a pool of fund to make it available for countries that are resource scarce so that they can tap into it and implement the strategies. Amazing. Thank you so much, Gapri. Um, our global stock take report is available on the Climate Outreach website and socials. Thank you, everyone.